Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the captivating world of cinema, exploring the legends of the past and where they are now. Today, we're embarking on a journey through time with the iconic cast of the 1962 epic western, How the West Was Won. This cinematic masterpiece not only marked a significant achievement in filmmaking but also showcased an ensemble of actors who left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Join us as we revisit the stars who brought this grand narrative to life, and discover what became of them in the years following this legendary film. So saddle up, as we take a ride through history, comparing the then and now of, How the West Was One's, legendary cast. Stay tuned, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating looks at the stars who shaped the golden era of Hollywood. James Stewart. Born. May 20, 1908. Died. July 2, 1997, at the age of 89. Most successful role, George Bailey in It's a Wonderful Life. James Stewart, an embodiment of American charm and everyman appeal, graced the silver screen with his distinct voice and relatable characters. Born in Indiana, Pennsylvania, Stewart's journey to stardom began with a degree in architecture from Princeton University, but the call of the stage proved too strong. His career spanned various genres, but he is most fondly remembered as George Bailey in the heartwarming classic, It's a Wonderful Life. This role, among others, showcased Stewart's ability to capture the complexities of the human spirit. He excelled in films like, Rear Window, Vertigo, and, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, earning him numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Actor for, The Philadelphia Story. Stewart's later years saw him transitioning to television and taking on fewer film roles. He remained a beloved figure until his passing in 1997, due to a pulmonary embolism following respiratory problems. John Wayne. Born. May 26, 1907. Died. June 11, 1979, at the age of 72. Most successful role. Rooster Cogburn in True Grit. John Wayne, the quintessential American cowboy, was born Marion Robert Morrison in Winterset, Iowa. He rose to become one of the most popular and enduring figures in American film history, symbolizing rugged masculinity and stoicism. Wayne's portrayal of Rooster Cogburn in True Grit earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor, a pinnacle in a career filled with memorable roles. He was the epitome of the Western hero, with standout performances in The Searchers, Stagecoach, and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Throughout his career, Wayne became known not just for his on-screen persona but also for his political views and larger-than-life personality. His battle with stomach cancer came to an end in 1979, marking the passing of a Hollywood legend. Gregory Peck. Born. April 5, 1916. Died. June 12, 2003, at the age of 87. Most successful role, Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird. Gregory Peck, known for his commanding presence and dignified performances, was born in La Jolla, California. He brought gravitas and depth to each role, becoming one of Hollywood's most enduring stars. His most celebrated performance as Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird, not only won him an Academy Award for Best Actor but also left an indelible mark on American culture, embodying the ideals of integrity and moral courage. Peck's illustrious career included notable roles in Roman Holiday, The Guns of Navarone, and Spellbound. He was not just an actor but a humanitarian, advocating for various causes throughout his life. Peck passed away in his sleep from bronchopneumonia leaving behind a legacy of classic performances and a reputation for being one of the true gentlemen of Hollywood. Henry Fonda. Born. May 16, 1905. Died. August 12, 1982, at the age of 77. Most successful role, Tom Joad in The Grapes of Wrath. In the annals of Hollywood's golden era, Henry Fonda stands out as a paragon of integrity and earnestness. Born in Grand Island, Nebraska, Fonda's acting career began on the stage, but he soon found his true calling in the world of film. His portrayal of Tom Joad in John Ford's The Grapes of Wrath remains a landmark performance, capturing the quiet strength and moral resolve of an everyman facing the Great Depression. Fonda's career was marked by a series of critically acclaimed roles in films like Twelve Angry Men and Mr. Roberts, for which he won a Tony Award. Despite numerous nominations, his first and only Academy Award for Best Actor came later in his career for On Golden Pond, a poignant exploration of family and aging. 
Fonda's passing in 1982, due to heart disease, marked the end of an era for a man who had not only witnessed but shaped the evolution of American cinema. Debbie Reynolds. Born. April 1, 1932. Died. December 28, 2016, at the age of 84. Most successful role. Kathy Selden in, Singin' in the Rain. Debbie Reynolds, known for her vivacity and resilience, was born in El Paso, Texas. She shot to fame with her role as Kathy Selden in, Singin' in the Rain, showcasing her talent as an actress, singer, and dancer. This role cemented her status as a Hollywood icon and set the stage for a career filled with memorable performances. Reynolds' filmography includes hits like, The Unsinkable Molly Brown, for which she received an Academy Award nomination, and, Tammy and the Bachelor. Beyond her film career, Reynolds was also a noted humanitarian and a passionate collector of Hollywood memorabilia, preserving pieces of cinematic history. Her life, marked by both triumph and personal challenges, came to a close in 2016, just one day after the passing of her daughter, Carrie Fisher. Reynolds died from a stroke, leaving behind a legacy of resilience, talent, and enduring charm. Richard Widmark. Born. December 26, 1914. Died. March 24, 2008, at the age of 93. Most successful role. Tommy Udo in, Kiss of Death. Richard Widmark, with his distinctive voice and intense on-screen presence, was born in Sunrise Township, Minnesota. He made a striking film debut as the cackling psychopath Tommy Udo in, Kiss of Death, a role that earned him an Academy Award nomination and set the tone for a career often characterized by complex, sometimes villainous characters. Widmark's extensive filmography spans various genres, including notable performances in, Night in the City, Judgment at Nuremberg, and, Madigan. His ability to convey nuanced emotions and psychological depth made him a favorite among directors and audiences alike. Living a relatively private life away from the Hollywood spotlight, Widmark's death in 2008 was attributed to complications from a fall. His legacy endures as one of the film industry's most versatile and compelling actors. Carl Malden. Born. March 22, 1912. Died. July 1, 2009, at the age of 97. Most successful role. Mitch in A Streetcar Named Desire. Carl Malden's distinguished acting career is marked by memorable performances and an unyielding dedication to his craft. Born in Chicago, Illinois, Malden gained critical acclaim for his role as Mitch in A Streetcar Named Desire, both on Broadway and in the film adaptation, earning him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Malden's rugged features and honest portrayals made him a favorite in Hollywood. He delivered powerful performances in films like, On the Waterfront, and, The Gunfighter. Beyond cinema, he also made a significant mark in television, most notably in the series, The Streets of San Francisco. Carl Malden passed away in 2009 due to natural causes, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most respected and versatile actors of his generation. Share your thoughts, memories, and tributes in the comments below. Your insights and stories add depth to the rich tapestry of film history and keep the legacy of these cinematic legends alive. And if you enjoyed this journey through the lives of these extraordinary actors, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue to explore and celebrate the golden era of Hollywood and the stars who made it shine. Until next time, keep the magic of cinema alive in your hearts, and stay tuned for more captivating stories from the world of film. This is our channel, signing off.